Tanya Hubley, Nina Betchart beat Rebecca and Anna Patricia. Rebecca and Anna Patricia have just been podium in every event. And the winner of this game will play Switzerland for a place in the semi-final, which is a great occasion for both teams. But Barbara and Fernanda have been really quiet in this competition. They've just taken their time. This is a big event for them. What a start. Two aces from Borga. Brazil shaking already. Another big result today for Pavin and Melissa Hummus. That's an ace again. Serving so deep. Ace, what a start this is, Carla Borger. Three aces in a row. The crowd are rising. Finally, a point for Brazil. Chopping angle, blocking angle, Suda, but left alone. Incredible start, completely forgetting where I was and explaining the situation. Did not expect this to happen quite as quickly as it has. 3-1 already, Germany are flying. Back to the line, jumping an angle, Brazil. Suda just rolls one off the body. He's talking about Sarah Pavin and Melissa Jimena Paredes earlier on before. Carla Borger and her great serving rudely interrupted me. For that Canadian team, they will be looking for a medal, but what a start from Siller and Borger. They will fancy their chances against anyone in this competition with this home crowd behind them. Many will be looking at Sarah Pavin and Melissa Manaparadez as well as a potential winner for this one. Through the body, Brazil, but sitting on the angle is Borga. She sits really central, making late moves to positions to try and play with the vision of the spiker. What a start this is for Germany. And in a game of this magnitude, you do not want to be losing the opening end 6-1. Advantage, Germany. Jumbo, seen really early. It's a great, great swing, Barbara. The left-hander. Just has to really work it away from the block to have a chance of scoring. Sitter really well fixed on the line. Serving on Sitter. From the right side, chopping back to the line. It's a great chop as well. Just 60, 70%, high-armed it. And that's Germany, maybe their toughest test so far. Germany can't make a defensive play on that one. Fernanda, so big, chasing in to now try and make a block, but she makes an ace, that's better. This one is going to swing in roundabouts. Service pressure for days out there from both sides. It's a game of service pressure.
after winning the first end 6-1. It's Brazil now serving really nicely. It's too tight from Suda Borger on the turn. Suda, second time of asking. Plays it to the line. Squeezing it through the block. 50-50s off the net back. Well, for Carla, Forger and Julia Suda. They just played six World Tour events together. See both making multiple appearances at the World Championships with other partners, but this is the first one they've had together. That silver for Borger was her best result to date. The silver, the star Yablonki. 2016 Rio Olympian. And for Borger, best of a 17th after that. So this is her second best result in a world championship. So there was 17th in 2015, but fifth in 2017 with Chantal Labore. And they have 18 World Tour medals between them. Played together 10 years ago at the World, sorry, the European Under-23 Championships and took a bronze, but it's Brazil after a slow start who are really coming into this one. Team to really fear Brazil, but with no Agatha Duda and no Rebecca and Anna Patricia, this could be the worst day almost. In the history of World Championship beach volleyball for Brazil and their women's program. The only time that Brazil have never made a podium is on the men's side of the draw in 2007. Brazil have never walked away from a world championship without a medal. This is the last throw of the dice for them. There's nowhere to go after this. 2007 on the men's side was the only time that the men's team didn't medal at the world championships. But for the women, this is maybe history in the making. To the line, Carla Borger. 97, Sandra Perez, Jackie Silva, Adriana Shelder in 99, Marseille. Adriana Shelder, 2001, Klagenfurt. Then it was Misty May Trenner and Kerry Walsh that went three back to back. Rio Berlin, Stad. Stavanger was time for Jen Kessie and April Ross, but then Juliana Larissa after that, China in 2013. Agatha and Barbara in 2015 before Laura Ludwig and Kira Volkenhorst. Time out from Brazil because this could be curtains for them on the women's side of the draw. Talita and Larissa taking bronze in Vienna. Brazil took gold, silver, and bronze in the Netherlands in 2015. Lily and Barbara in 2011. Sorry, in 2013 in Stadio Blanqui. 2011 in Rome. Juliana Larissa. took the gold. This is crazy. They've all haste medaled. But it doesn't look like it at the moment. What does this mean for the sport? If Brazil are not on the podium, the USA is still having multiple teams left in this competition. The two front runners of this sport. But that's a great serve from Sida. And they really have served so well. But it's just a worrying time for Brazilian volleyball, it really is. 
on two. That's a rip. Fernanda. One to really be careful of. It's very clear what the story is tonight. Brazil, this is their last chance of a medal. Chases on, but Suda finds the sand. This is the last game to decide the quarters. Fernanda has the height advantage. 6-2, but Suda just knuckles past the block. Borger, jump serving as well. Brazil struggling to keep control of the ball from the left side. Barbara! Suda gets her! It's a major block, and it's a major evening for Brazil. Duda and Agatha, gone. Rebecca and Anna Patricia, out. You look back to the legends, where did we get to? 2005. It was always Brazil on the podium. 2007, sorry, star Juliana Larissa took a bronze. Stavanger, Juliana Larissa, Maria Antonelli, Talita, both meddling. 2005 in Berlin, Juliana and Larissa made a silver. That was very much Kerry Walsh Jennings, who's also been knocked out of this crazy competition with Brooks Sweat. Shelda, Adriana took silver in Rio 2003, 2001. Shelda and Adriana won the gold. And also in 99, 97, Sandra and Jackie Silver. This is just a real huge evening for Brazil. And there'll be some nervous people, but Suder and Borga have been incredible. It's another era. They've had ups and downs, Borga Suda, but this is definitely an up. That to the line is another era. Brazil are falling apart here on a day that has seen all of their big guns leave the competition. You have to remember Evandro out with Bruno. Alison Alvaro are through also on the men's side of the draw. This is a challenge whether it's in or out, but Brazil are just not really in this one at this moment in time. One challenge remaining, but this is not Brazil's competition as of yet. On the men's side, they failed to only podium in 2007. So Brazil, in 12 editions of this competition, has only did one time. This could be just the second time overall and the first time for the women that they've not made a medal. I'm sorry, but it's just big news in this sport. There's a changing of the guard here. Eight-point game. The service pressure from Borga Suda. has been too hot to handle. Borger pops it in. Hitting from the right side, Suda. It's another side out, and every touch from Brazil isn't Brazilian. Brazil are known for their ball control. The way that they can control the ball better than any other team in the world. Jumping late to the angle, Fernanda. Barbara trying to scoop the line. Can they hold Brazil and their hopes together? Yes, for the moment. Right. 
Germany, the current world champions with Laura Ludwig, Kira Volkenhorst. Volkenhorst retiring, Laura Ludwig losing out. Yes, they're running the blocker around. It's a lovely play, just showing how they can move the six foot two Fernanda across the face of the net. The width of the set is perfect. Showing that alleyway down to the line. There's nowhere else Sida can hit that, but she won't mind. That's the only thing she aimed to do. Pierce the gap between the blocker and the antenna. Well, change of ends again. 18-10. Well, and Jing Jiang is a three set epic between these two teams. It really was. Paul Gasuda took the game that day, 15 12 in the final set. And really, Brazil to be here, they've won every game. They've got really good. Austria, Latushnik, and Schützenhofer. Two sets to zero, yet to drop a set. Parkinen and Leite from Finland. Slovakia as well, Stavrova, Divakova, and Mexico. But this is different, they're gonna lose their opening set of this competition. This is different, now for Brazil, they're in the Red Bull Beach Arena and it's a different feeling in front of a huge crowd as the fans look on. First set point. This is over so quickly. Pass is strong. The left hand, uh, shut down from Suda. One of the most one-sided sets of this competition goes to Germany. And they have one foot in the quarterfinal tomorrow already. Wow. Brazil are shaking in their boots in this competition. Julius Suda, they've served so well, they've sided out pretty much with ease. And there's no way back if this carries on for Brazil. Brazil have always had a women's team on the podium in a World Championships. Well, the match stats, more kills, certainly key. More blocks as well. The side out percentage off the radar. Underway again, Brazil. Last throw of the dice, off the body, breaking the block. Fernanda, but beaten by Augusta yet again. Serving to the sideline. Fernanda chips back to the line. It's a great touch, really positive touch, reaching up to the line. Just watching all the time. Suda knows that she has to reach as high as possible to even get into that airspace. She's not really pressing for time. She's pressing for... that soft shot. Brazil's performance here at the moment, not quite strong enough. Tomorrow, Marta Menengarti, Victoria Orsi, Tuth from Italy, play Melissa Amana Paredes and Sarah Pavin. Big game, the Italians really chipping that ball around. Canadians 
guided by Scott Davenport, will be one of the favourites for this competition. But off the body, a rare moment of joy for Brazil. Barbara just looks back cross court, wriggles it back. Sharp work from Barbara, really. Is. Another service error though. They score a big point to try and gain some momentum and some rhythm. But then go and botch one straight in the net. Next one. Out. But so to Germany. This game hasn't really got going yet, has it? But as we carry on going through the draw, Sarah Pavin, former indoor player. Right side, they beat Sonne Kaiser, Mandlin Meppelink today, the European champions, and a humdinger out here. Borga Suda now up against Fernanda and Barbara and doing a fine job, but that's Brazil who have taken the opening end, so maybe there's room to come back into this one. What a competition for Nina, Berchardt and Tanya Hubley. They made the final stages of the European Championships, but this is a different gravy. And they beat Rebecca and Anna Patricia, the fourth seeds, who many people had their eye on to win the entire competition. Maria Faye, Altaccio, Taliqua Clancy from Australia. Better from Brazil here. Beat Joanna Heydrich and Annette Versha Dupree in three. Svetlana Kolomina. That's the Mac Rogozova from Russia. The Agatha Duda. What a performance that was. 22-20 in the third. One of the best games of the entire competition. Service pressure from Brazil has been good. And there's a touch off the block. They're moving the block around. It's smart play from Germany because they're just trying to make Fernanda move. Slightly like the Australians we see at times. Moving the blocker and then going to look to go off the hands and take her to Tall Town. Sarah Hughes, Summer Ross, beat Joy Stuber and Marlene Van Erzel, who were going so well. Remember, they're in the same pool as the Australians and also Kerry Walsh Jennings. And they won that pool, but they're out the competition, having lost to Sarah Hughes and Summer Ross. Alex Lyman, April Ross, won a fourth star in Brazil earlier on in the year. They beat the impressive Latvians, who topped Pool B in the absence of the Czech Republic, Barbara Hermanova and Marketa Slakova. Back to business. Brazil siding out again here. the line late jumping into the angle so the Borger just trying to get that soft line shot it's exactly what they set up to try and do hence the high fives and high tens are still very much evident but the touch was just left a little bit short from Carla Borger two career wins for Borger Suda who fires long this time, 16 seasons for Suda on this tour. Just the two career wins as well. This is a completely different set. Timeout call from Germany. But what's... Are we watching here? It's a different game to what we've seen previously. First set really went the way of the Germans. Brazil now throwing everything they've got at this one as we have a look at Suda whipping through that one. Great decision, trying to go deep middle. Splitting the two defenders, but it's just, just long. 
too many errors so far from both sides, really. The real time body sensors doing the business again. Two, three, seven calories already, but no real big rallies in this game. Right side, Suda dropping into the angle. Really late is Fernanda, but beat him for speed with the whip of the arm of Julia Suda. Great decision to drop in, just couldn't quite close it. In system. Oh, what an angle. Just dancing out to the pin and then charging through Fernanda. That's undiggable. If you can get your hands in front of that facility, maybe you've got a chance. But for Carla Borger, always playing second fiddle to something at that pace, at that speed. One back for Germany, though Suda just shapes it across the face of the net. <laughs> Germany strike back. Borger. Goes back, settles herself. And rips. That's a thunderous serve to the line. No passing that for Barbara. They're staying away from Fernanda. Well, they were for a moment, but now Fernanda is taking a lot of the call and she just squeezes it through. Germany just trying to serve Barbara to the outside, then the inside. But as they serve to the inside, they find Fernanda. And she just somehow uses her height to chip it back. Brazil hanging on by a thread hit. Short play, no two ball from Borger. Back on three for Suda chipping away. It's really smart from Suda because Fernanda has to do a lot of work to get in. She's serving, she's chasing. Again, she's really trying to take a lot of angle in that block, and she's not quite pressing with the outside hand. Another miss serve, challenge coming. <laughs> Referee, Cheryl Lampos. Papadogoulos has some big decisions coming his way over the next three few days. Quarterfinals of the women's competition tomorrow. Should be a real spectacle. Who will be there though? The draw is almost decided, that one is Definitely out, acceptance from Borger. One challenge remaining for Germany. To the line, Suda. One point game, technical time out. Oh, sorry, it's gone wide, no challenge. The celebration from Germany really did cause Slight mix up. Suda looked like she had this one locked in and nailed down. This angle will tell us something different. Yes, it does. Three point game. Germany. This is a different German side than what we saw in the open. They were so dominant in the opening set that maybe the pressure has just crept in on Germany.
It's a big moment for them. Home World Championships with a chance to knock Brazil out of this competition. It would leave Brazil just two teams in the men's draw. Soder again, this time goes back to the angle. Barbara does some work to stop that, getting past her. Creating space in her arms from Barbara was really impressive to keep that one alive, but the set far too tight from Fernanda, and that's something what you have to accept when you're playing with somebody like Fernanda, who's six foot two, that the transitional setting sometimes might just be left a little bit lacking. The aces again, what are we watching? Germany are coming back into this one. The crowd love it, we're back to one. Post timeout, Germany rocking and rolling again in Hamburg. Brazil have been rocked from the service line. That one from the sideline to the middle. And it serves. She's off the net, but she's so physical. Oh, overhand defense. Unreal from Suda. The scores are tied again, and whatever was said in the timeout should be recorded. Suda has come out firing again. Point swing means that Brazil. Tight passing. Barbara runs the back set, trying to challenge the block. It's a good challenge as well. Just chipping off the outside hand of the drifting block. It's difficult for Suda to run around after that one. Good setting from Fernanda as well. Straight on, off the body. That was really the only angle that Borger could get after. Doubling up on the angle. They saw the body line attacking the cross court. Gambled on the fact that Barbara couldn't hit the line. They were correct. But Brazil too strong, and this one shifted again. It looks like we might just be going to three, which would be no surprise in this competition, because how many times has... One team started strongly and not being able to hold their nerve so many times. The pressure of a world championship, but they keep doubling up. On Barbara. But it's not working because Barbara starts to hit away from the body line. Or there's been a little bit of miscommunication from Germany. Three-point game. Huge, huge time for Brazil. Nibbled through. Carla Borger gets up. to Fernanda, she goes off the hands. And we're still really no closer, are we, to finding out who's going to go through. The winner playing Hubli and Betchart tomorrow. Swiss team looking to the line, chipping line. It's quick, it's smooth, it's accurate. It's exactly what the German doctor ordered. Thank you. 
arm comes through, but the extension key. Passing straight, Fernanda, still two points up. Dog just sitting off the block of the bump, Cotty! Misses by a whisker. Carla Borger says, let's challenge that one. It looked as if it might have well been out, but 10 out of 10 just being audacious enough to use that one. certainly was out. Three, still the difference. Brazil fighting to stay. And remember, Brazil have never not podiumed at a world championship. And anything less is really a disaster for them, their coaching team and their federation on the whole. Especially with the likes of Duda, Agatha, Rebecca, Anna, Patricia. We're back to two again. The crowd might just be the extra 10% that Germany need. Serving straight down the line again. Barbara the target now. They're staying away from Fernanda. She again works away from the body and scores a key, key point for Brazil. King Fernanda, and that's a key tactical bit of play from Borger. She really does know that the six foot two frame of Fernanda will struggle to get back and play defense off the harder attack. She hits her high, she scores. But the miss serve from Carla Borger keeps Brazil in this game. German flags and Brazilian flags being waved together in the spirit of beach volleyball. Borger again, this time from the left side, passing really straight. It's underneath the block and it always brings the block into play. Passing that straight from Borger. Set point for Brazil, Hamburg. Not quite as rocking as it was 10 minutes ago. Huge from Fernanda. And there's still life in this game yet. Borger chasing really hard, that's better. This time managing to find an avenue to the inside of the block, falling away, fading away, but driving through the ball. Second step point, Fernanda for Brazil, we go to three. There's life in the Brazil yet, their last remaining female team in the competition. Great performance so far. Took them a while to get going, Fernanda. And Barbara, but we go to three. Well, the match stats. Seven aces for Borga Suda. That was mostly in the first set. More kills as well, more serving areas, more blocks. Better side out percentage. 
that second set just did not measure up to the first. They really were the dominant team. As we have a look at Brazil's serve placement. 46% now on Julius Sidek. Quite a lot to the inside, a couple of aces as well. They do use Carla Borger and they did go on it at the end of the set. That's an interesting thing to look at as well. The calorie count going up with 61 chumps for Fernando. She's been served quite a lot of balls as well as having to block. Barbara making a defense, Fernanda chasing after it. Speed in the transition. Brazil. Get by on heart and desire so often. This is going to take them everything they have. It really is. How far can... Italy go in this competition. Manigati also took, they won their pool, pool A with the host nation, Itlinger and Laboria, nicking their number one seed. Beat Sponsor and Kleist today. It's a good result for them, both Olympians. But tomorrow they chip the ball around, or Manigati does anyway, up against Pavin and Melissa. But Germany compromised. They really are. Challenge for a footfall. Looks okay from here. Sand kicking over the baseline. Maybe it's just to slow the game down. It looks fine. Brazil's challenge. No fault. Brazil was still in charge here. Poor guy proves to be the best eye in the business. Challenge means that we go back to 1-1. One, one. Poor guy just such an addition to this game. Back to right hand side, it's glorious from Suda. It really is. Brushing the ball back. Thumb goes down, arm goes through Barbara. That full stretch. Good passing. Barbara again, this time from the inside, does exactly the same. Just with the left hand. Just shuffles on the back set. Slides the ball away, there's a look. She sees everything, she's looking for Carla Borger. Once she sees the defender. Borger. Barbara's really come alive on the backcourt as of late. Free ball, first touch is a little bit too straight. Suda goes high line. Borger turns to the crowd. Germany are just in front. Only just. Another miss serve. Carla Borger did that in the previous set as well. This is crunch time. Bump over free ball. This is a chance to really take the lead. It's wide, it's quick, and it's purposeful. Trying to go off the hands. 
speeding the play up. Brazil know they have a height advantage, so just nudging it around over the block is absolutely fine from them. Germany living and breathing on every ball, but you can feel that the pressure is really with them and they're feeling every inch of it. But so are Brazil. So many areas at times. Passing off the net. Chance back to the line. There you go, Germany. It's sometimes just a little bit too pressurized in there, but they're finding a way to dig in. There's around 8,000 people in this arena wanting one result. It's going to be some big nerves. There already is. There's so many touches going astray from both sides, but that's the World Championship. That's what happens, and that's why there's so many surprises. But every point is being celebrated so fiercely. And you can see that's just so much pressure right here and relief as soon as the ball hits the sack. Nobody wants to go home yet. Borger, again, great setting from Suda. Puts it in the spot. That's not easy with the pass off the net. To set a back set in the path of Carla Borger, they move the block around. But the first pass here is really going astray, and that's just the nerves. Nobody really serving overly tough, just trying to move Fernanda inside, back to the line. Good side out play from Brazil, but the service pressure of Germany has gone down from the first set where they came out, all guns blazing at Brazil. Now they're just serving Brazilian system at times. Could be a challenge here. Is it's another miss serve, this time from Julius Suda. Challenge from Germany. This game still doesn't really feel that it's even got going. The ball is well out. So much pressure. Borger screaming out there. And it's just one of those games. Good. From Surda back to the angle. And it's the final hope for Brazil and Germany. The reigning world champions, Germany, Laura Ludwig, Kira Volkenhorst, but Germany have been successful in this game for a long time and really a ninth for either team or either nation isn't what they came here hoping for. Borg of the target, tied at eight, has a look, stays high, goes long, more errors from Germany. There's too many here. Crazy, crazy game. The quarter final of a world championship. 
Inside, Borger goes back. Fernandes there. Brazil open up a two-point game, jumping back into the line, swatting it down. That's a game changer. Too many errors. And then potentially scared to make another one. The knuckle back to the line, so high. Six foot two feet of Brazilian blocker. Off the fingertip. Smiles for Barbara and Fernando. They started slowly, but they're right in the mix again. involved, the in-house presentation team doing a phenomenal job, but will Germany or Brazil go through? The competition not wanting to lose either nation, but no choice. To the inside, Carla Borger struggling to side out. She still hasn't found the sand. Over the top goes Fernand. Second opportunity from the right side, chipping back. Barbara's there again. Nobody wanting to error, but it's Brazil who are taking this one away from Germany and breaking the hearts of Hamburg. After such a slow start, it looked as if Germany we're going to run away with it, but Brazil have heart. They dig in when they need to. Borger does so well to be patient and react to that one. But Fernando again has really come into this game. Borger on the spin. Jumbo! Nowhere, Borger shuffling over the sand. Jousts Fernanda. And then here, one step off underneath the ball. Not many options for Borger. So she sends the jumbo. Two points, Borger Suda, not quite out of this one. So many twists in the tails. Another miss serve. And where Julius Sutter was so aggressive with that serve earlier on, it's a lot more tentative now. Borger, back to the line, side out. Three needed for Brazil here. Going to be a long five minutes or so. <laughs> Serving high again, Barbara. Slightly out of system. It's incredible swing away from the body, but Borger reads it really nicely as well. Second time over the block. And you just feel as if Brazil are playing with slightly more clutch. Serving better, not making as many errors. And Germany are having to work so, so hard. Borger in system, needs to find the sand. No, finds the platform. Of oh, Barbara on two, Fernanda. Brings Brazil on the brink of glory. <laughs> Quick. 
caught cold for Gasuda. Match point, four of them for Brazil. It's going to signal a heartbreak for the home team. Germany would be out completely of the women's side of the competition. But they live to see another end. Second match point for Brazil. Fernando passing way off the net. Barbara trying to lump the ball on. It's off the block and the ball hits the floor. Brazil are still alive in this competition. After losing Agatha and Duda earlier on. And Anna, Patricia and Rebecca. The hopes of Brazil lie with Barbara and Fernanda. It really is heartbreak for Germany. All of their women's teams out of the competition. Borger and Suda have worked so, so hard. A new team who have got so much promise. But for the moment, Brazil lives to fight another day in the competition. Remember, they've made a podium in every world championship. And if Brazil get knocked out before the medal rounds, it would be the first time ever in the women's side of the draw. But for now, they're through to meet Switzerland. In the quarterfinal tomorrow. What a performance coming back from a really slow opening set from Brazil.